Hi, welcome to this um, PC that's lying here open in my garden in the sun. It's an old machine, as you see, we're going to clean it later on. It has been opened just recently, so all kind of dust is in there. But that's no problem, it works just fine. The thing is, I always say, say what you do and do what you say. So, what I've done is I've bought this. I've bought an... Uh, Bracket. This is bracket FD etc. from StarTech.com. But if you don't find anything, um, well, from this uh, company, you find something else. And then this one goes in there as well, which is a two drive trailers hot swap 2.5 inch SATA mobile rack. Meaning, I always tell you guys. Uh, if you have a desktop, of course, with laptops, it's a little bit more difficult, if at all possible. But with desktops, we can put this one up right here in here. In the top, we're going to put this one in here, like so. And then this one goes right in the, the bay. So these two go together, and we're going to mount it and film it. Well, not filming, but I'll tell what I've done, um, and then I'll show you. But I can't, I don't have four arms, so I'll just pause. Analysis. We have here an SSD. It's here, the SSD. It has to come out, you see, and it has to go to the other one. So that's the first thing I'm going to do, all right? Okay, that part, whoops, yeah, okay. That part has been successful, so I'm going to get rid of this tray thing. And... Um, get the SSD out of here. That's the Windows one. Okay, all it took were four screws that were uh, on the bottom of the Samsung SSD. Four screws you have to untie, I suppose. And then um, let's go ahead, the next step. So, moving to the front. I need to get rid of those, well, protection things. This thing here, uh, and that one here, I'm gonna get rid of. And DVD is there whenever you use it, but hey, let's put, let's, let's leave it there. So, two clips, two clips here are just holding it there. So, let's go on. So, I'm opening my box here. 3.5 drive, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, it's the front bay packet adapter. I'm gonna open it. Add some things in here. Don't need this buy box and we're going to open this one as well and pulls here okay the other box is unboxed so everything is lying there and there's some cables i can use SATA cables and power cables fine it does it's not difficult it's just uh, the back end that's in here that you see this needs to have some power so i'm gonna use little white one there little white one goes in here and those are for real power okay for for sata and for the edi connections so i'm gonna mount this one in here because it should kind of look like this this is how it should look at the end so i need to screw this thing up meaning i have to look for some holes i don't know if you can see it but the holes should match the other hole simple screws in so the screws are in. This thing is 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 one block, and this one block needs to go in here somehow. So let me do that with two hands. So that's done. We can open it up. Here the SSD goes in. I could actually show you that. So this is my Windows SSD. It goes in here. Just close it. Now we have to tell the system to boot from there. That's it. BIOS, you know. UEFI setup. So um, I pressed also a button here. Cooler Master has this button to fix the bay into place. And it's now, there are, we used to have screws, but this system has a button, simple as that. So it means it's, I can push it in the front. It will not go in there. It's going to stay in its place. All right, next thing. Okay, so what did I do? This connector went to the hard disk. It was in this bay. Then I re 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 rerouted it to the back 
of the new bay there all right and this was provided this connection is an, an, an well and to make it longer to, to divide the power between one ssd and the other but i'm not going to use the other just going to use the top uh, of the bay so just one ssd to boot from so it's going to be windows either linux and that's it so i just need one bay the other one is still the hard disk it's still there it's one tb or two gb i don't know anymore two tb i mean of course and everything is set yep i think so so this thing is not used which is okay which is cool and neither is this one let me see did i not make a mistake well it will work as well but i see that actually this one the white one this one is actually from the other one so i'm gonna put this one in here so the same white line that i give the power to the sata i'm gonna use that white one that one there in there and last thing but not the least thing i'm gonna blow this thing like there's no dust anymore anywhere okay so last thing i went to fetch my bottle i suppose you'll have something similar in your region where you live that um, so compressed gas cleaner just just shake it and then you can press it and all the dust is is going to fly in around here so we're not going to film that just a word of advice with these things here if your machine is hot and it's in the, in the current and all that um, don't use it all of this dust that's going to flow around in the air is going to explode, ignite. Yes, you heard me right. So, no, you do this with a cooled machine, safe environment and with a safe distance. As these things can and will ignite. You see the flame? I've experienced it firsthand. Alright, so that's it. I've, um, I'm done here. I'm going to test it out and of course I'm to install... Arc Linux on an SSD. Cheers.